Hi, my name is JP. I'm from Santa Cruz, California. I am 52 years old. Been riding mountain bikes now for about four decades. And I'm here at Summit Bikes to talk about my forbidden dreadnought that is currently being built for me for some of the riding I do in Santa Cruz, which is usually more uh, steep, enduro type technical riding. Bikes I've owned in the past, uh, when I was roughly 14 years old, uh, got my first specialized mountain bike, which was a very traditional uh, rigid fork, uh, no suspension whatsoever, cantilever brakes, something I rode to and from school and started learning how to trail ride on that. Um, as I got into the college years, I had purchased my first uh, frame set, which was a Yeti Ultimate in Boulder, Colorado. And uh, same type of bike, traditional raised chainstay, uh, rigid AccuTrax forks, and the only suspension you had was basically adjusting tire pressure. So those were uh, pretty interesting bikes to ride back in the day compared to the uh, new bikes we have with uh, hydraulic disc brakes and all that fun suspension we get. Um, after that, what got me into enduro riding was uh, a few uh, really nice uh, Santa Cruz bikes that I had built, um, both being Bronson's and uh, great bikes, always had fun on those. But as I started riding steeper stuff and more challenging terrain, uh, that's when I went ahead and built my last bike I'm just getting off right now, which is a Evil Reckoning that has a push shock and uh, Fox 38 that's been converted to a coil setup. So it's pretty aggressive bike and uh, for an old dude, I, I still like riding fast. So the reason I'm building the Dreadnought is uh, the last season and a half, I've been chasing a good friend on my evil, evil Reckoning, who's been uh, riding a Dreadnought. And uh, we get to the really steep stuff where we normally ride uh, in Santa Cruz. It was like he would have a throttle on his bike when I would chase him down uh, some of the steeper stuff. And I was kind of confused how that bike would hold terrain and, and manage to escape me as fast as he did. And you know, some days I can keep up, but most days I can't. So I'm um, definitely curious uh, as to why uh, those bikes are as fast as they are. And I'm, I'm excited to get on the Dreadnought and find out for myself. As far as the spec on the components for the bike, I'm kind of running with what I'm currently using on my Evil. Um, I do like the DD bars. I run a uh, 38 uh, millimeter riser, um, just because I like being a little taller up, especially on the downhill. I tend to run Aragon seats. Okay, so for the front fork on the bike, I'm switching from a Fox 38 to a RockShox Zeb. <clears throat> And that'll be the first time I've been running a rock shock in probably a good side of 20 years. Um, the drivetrain on this bike, I went with the new SRAM XXSL. And uh, that seems to be the hot ticket that uh, SRAM has just developed. For the tire and wheel package, I went with a Zip Moto front wheel, which is a little softer, more compliant for the type of riding I do. Uh, the rear wheel is an NV M9. And those are um, gonna be on Onyx hubs. Uh, the Onyx hubs uh, are clutched, so they make no noise whatsoever. I'm also running the new Conti tires on there as well, which is highly talked about right now, and they seem like they're a great tire to go with, so might as well give them a shot. The Dreadnought, did check off quite a few boxes for me for 
a bike I was looking for for my current uh, riding situation where I, where I normally ride on the steep enduro stuff. I've been looking for a mullet style bike um, because the 29 front and rear, I tend to, being a shorter guy, I tend to buzz myself on the rear 29 inch wheel on the steeper stuff. Uh, the uh, high pivot is very attractive for uh, mitigating pedal kickback as well. So that's something I do tend to feel on the evil reckoning from time to time. Uh, the rowdier the trail gets, the more kickback I tend to get. And uh, it, it, it will wear you out a little bit. So I'm definitely excited to uh, try that out. Oh,